Hey, what's up guys? Dave here with my Mission Control headset, bringing you a video today about the website DHK. Probably one of the most frequently asked questions in all of my YouTube videos is where do you buy the guitars from, the import guitars. So today I want to talk to you about one of the sites I've used. Um, I know there's a Trade Tang and there's AliExpress and Alibaba, but today I just want to run through DHK, which is the site that I've bought three of my four import guitars, and uh, just show you around the website um, and what I found when using it. Alright, so this is the website here. Um, first thing I want to sort of explain is it's not quite the same as eBay. It's not an auction website. It's a purchase now. It's a series of small shops from different sellers. Now up here there's a buy protection section. I'd recommend have a read through that. Uh, on this section here it talks about how you're not giving money directly to a seller. Instead you're buying from the website. Then the website transfer that money to the seller once uh, the purchaser ticks the box at the end saying I've received the goods um, then DHgate released the money to the seller so in that regard it's a good system because uh, it's in the interest of the seller that you actually receive your product all right now on this website you're not really just gonna punch in Gibson or anything like that you're not gonna get good results so um, we want to look for a guitar so what I just put in is literally in the term guitar rocket sign Alright, so it's brought up our first item and underneath a series of different things. Alright, so this seller here, they've got uh, US dollars 160 to 227 for this guitar. The more you buy, the cheaper it will get. They've got, they've sold four and they've got one review, so 100%, but you know, it could be anyone, so I'm, you wouldn't trust that. So what I do here is up the top, you've got a series of things. Uh, when you're logged in, you get a few extra items to search here. But I just click the best selling link here. Alright, so what it's done is it's um, sorted everything here by best selling. So we've got different items for sale here by different uh, shops. So we've got different prices in here, 248 to 369 Now what that means is the more you buy, the bigger the discount. And there's a few options with the case and all that sort of jazz. Alright, so we've got 26 customer reviews. Uh, four, we've got five, four customer. I'm going to click on this one. More than looking for a guitar this way, you're looking for a seller. So, all guitar here. Uh, there's another one up here, BJ XL YY Music. I use them, that's who I bought the Ouija through. Um, we're going to click on this one. We'll click on all guitar and have a look at uh, what they got. Alright, so it's brought up this shop. Down the left here, you've got a series of different types of guitars. Just having a browse here, let's pick on this one. 2015 new Jimmy Page guitar. Click on that. Alright, you got a $5 price reduction for a time. Uh, time limited sale. Time. Time left. 288 hours, 41 minutes. <laughs> oh, you gotta fucking love these sites. Okay, so US dollars 244 to 343. Let's have a look at the different options. Alright, so if you just buy the guitar alone, it's gonna cost you 281. If you buy it with a case, it jumps up to 328. And then you've got Ebony Fretboard and Ebony Fretboard with case, which goes up to 343. So there's not a huge price difference in there. Free shipping to Australia. I don't know how they do that. Um, okay, so looking through the page, we've got different methods of purchase down here. No PayPal, unfortunately, but I've got a few different things you can have a look at. Uh, return policy, I'd have a look on that. On time delivery in 16 days. Alright, so here we are at the pictures. Um, immediately you can tell this is a, a replica guitar. It's not just a picture stolen from the Gibson website because it's in a cardboard box on concrete. You've got yourself uh, the Epiphone style bridge. It's not the small poles that the Gibsons have. Uh, if we keep scrolling down. It's actually a really nice top, but whenever you buy any of these, just make sure you're not, your expectations aren't, it's going to be that. Because it's very clear to me if you watch you know, videos on YouTube about this, that it's a bit of a, a random selection. They're just going to get you a guitar that's similar. They're not going to spend a whole heap of time finding... You know, this picture might just be an example. It might have sold six months ago. So keep that in mind when you're buying them. The more difficult the guitar is to make, the more likely that you're going to get something that's not going to be 100%. If you buy a guitar that's uh, Les Paul, they're pretty easy to fake. If you buy something that's like a you know, 12-string with the Floyd Rose and blah blah blah, the more parts to it, the more likely that something's going to get messed up. Alright, so scrolling down this transaction history, 
we can see that there's been quite a few bought last month. Um, yeah, so that, that's a good sign. Going down, have a, have a read through the feedback. So once you see that they're selling guitars and there's people with feedback, you know that this seller's active and um, you consider using them. Now back up the top here, you've got an online chat and a message seller. I'm currently signed in, uh, I think. Nope, I'm not, so I'll quickly sign in. All right, so I've signed in. Now at the top, you've got yourself an uh, online chat and a message seller. I would never send someone in China money without contacting them first. You want to ask them questions about uh, what is the headstock, what's the brand on it, because they're not showing that. You want to ask them how long will it take, is it in stock. Um, and then you want to listen to their response and see if they've got good communication, you know, do they speak your language, uh, how long did it take them to get back to you. Alright, so we'll try clicking on the online chat now and see what happens. It seems like it's a bit of an automated response. You've got, uh, hello, welcome to, and then uh, what can I do for you? And then there's a few questions here that I've asked just earlier and I didn't get a response. So I won't waste any time on that. Alright, um, so back on this main page, just recapping, you want to go bestseller, you want to look for different shops, you want to contact them, you want to ask questions, you want to... Oh, here's a... Alright, so this is a seller I've used before. This is very similar here to the guitar that I bought, Sunburst I bought years ago. Now, that top again, not going to be the one. I've actually got it here, check it out. Alright, so ignoring the pickups, because I've changed those pickups. This is the top that I received on a similar thing to this. I've changed the uh, couple of little parts, but um, you'll find that one of the most annoying thing when I bought this guitar is that that little red thing that's sitting there is supposed to be a sticker, but it, they actually printed it on, and I had to sit there scratching it off, nail polish remover and stuff, and I couldn't get the bloody thing off. It looked pretty crap after a while, and I, and I just removed it. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a similar one. Now, look, I hope I've answered a few questions about the site. Always go into these things with caution. There's a big chance that uh, you're not going to get the exact guitar you want, but that's the sort of price you pay when you're you know, buying these replicas online. So um, if you are not buying this for the right reason, if you're buying this to try and sell it and pass it off as a, as a real one, don't. You reckon it for everyone else. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just chuck them down in the comments section. I'll get back to you. And uh, if you could drop a like, that'd be awesome. Thanks, guys.